two exercises that has helped me to build my punching power. Welcome back, my friend. I hope you're having a great day. As usual, let's get straight into it. Now, these two exercises are very common. These are my observations from my experiences. I was able to really increase my punch power with these two exercises. I really want to share it with you. And again, like I said, these are just from my experiences. Many people have many different ways. There's not just one absolute way to increase your punching power. There's many different ways. And these are my two ways in which I was able to increase that punching power with my solo training. Now, the first one is weighted shadow boxing. Now, a lot of guys will say that won't increase power. That won't increase speed. Hear me out, all right? Like I said, from my observations, from my experiences. So when I was fighting mixed martial arts, a lot of my teammates, they would shadow box warm up with dumbbells, whether it was 0.5 pound dumbbells all the way up to 10 pound dumbbells, just throwing the punches, shadow boxing with weights in the hands. It really helped to build my endurance, sculpt out my shoulders, my arms really helped to just keep those arms moving even though they're burnt out. So while I was fighting mixed martial arts, I was still researching on ways to get stronger, heavier, much more knockout power. And I was researching, I still researched boxers, I was researching Rocky Marciano, I saw that he would do weighted shadow boxing for like 45 minutes straight with five pound dumbbells now when i researched and i you know studied his fights i seen that he has like this pop in his shoulder like a relaxing pop in his shoulder and his punches were like a whip that's when i realized my punches were fast as well and i had some pop on it and the reason why is because i would throw my punches like a whip and that's when i realized because i was shadow boxing so much with dumbbells in my hand yes once the arms get fatigued the biceps the forearms your hands are going to kind of loosen itself. And just to survive the round with the dumbbells while you're shadow boxing, you're going to change up how you throw it. You're going to be much lighter, much more fluid. You're not going to be so tense and try to fight against the dumbbells that are in your hands. You're going to relax. And like I said, you're going to end up whipping those punches. So when you drop those dumbbells, those three to five pound dumbbells, then put on some 10 ounce, 12 ounce gloves, your hands are going to be flying out and not just flying out because they feel lighter, but because you're whipping them. Shadow boxing with dumbbells, especially dumbbells that are two pounds or heavier, built my muscles up to be like a whip. That way I was still fluid with resistance in my hands. So that is my top secret exercise to building power. Number one. Now, number two is this. Hitting smaller punching bags. Punching bags that are 80 pounds or less. Why? Because I believe, no matter what anybody tells you, when it comes to throwing power, it's not really about physical strength, physical speed, physical velocity. It really comes down to timing. If you can time a shot really well while your opponent is coming in at the right angle and you throw the right speed, the right strength behind it, the timing itself will really floor your opponent. And I started punching smaller punching bags. I would have to position myself because like I said, you know, when you throw a really hard shot on a smaller bag, that thing's going to go flying. Because it's going to go flying, you don't know where it's going to be next. So you got to position yourself. You got to wait for it to either come in or you got to really juke out the timing, sit on this angle, angle your punches because it's ever moving. The way you set up your punches, the way you set up your footing to really dig it in, it's going going to be different and that will really help to build the timing like i said guys can be strong guys can be fast but if they don't have the right timing to throw a shot it's gonna take a lot of effort to really just put a hurting on the guy but if you can time it well just graze it in the right angle on the right spot with the right speed the right velocity you can have flash knockouts all day long spend some time hitting a smaller bag and really not just practicing combos but throwing big power shots single shots on a smaller bag those are my top two exercises that help me to increase my punching power from my solo training please take this information utilize it but be sure to utilize it in a way where you're throwing your power in the cage, in the ring, in a fight gym, and you're not on the streets, just trying it out on innocent people, all right? And with that, just always remember, train hard and be kind.